What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we are going to be looking at a free Vercel alternative. Yes, that's right. You no longer have to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on Vercel. Potentially you can use a free open source alternative. Let's dive right into it. Alright, so for those of you who aren't new to this channel, you may have seen my recent video on a tool called Coolify, which is what they say right here, self-hosting with superpowers and open source and self-hostable Heroku, Netlify, and Vercel alternative. And I really like this tool. You can see it has a lot of cool features, uh, different servers. You can add uh, free SSL, powerful API, server automations, etc., etc. Um, but this is not the only free alternative to Vercel. There is a few different other ones, and in specifically in this video, we're going to be cover one, and I'm going to show you how to install it, get it set up, um, and that one is not Cap Rover. We will talk about that one in another video, but that is there's a couple other ones, but that's one. This tool is called Docploy. Okay, so deploy anywhere with ease, total freedom, or deploy anywhere with total freedom and ease. Streamline your operations with our all-in-one platform, perfect for managing projects, data, and system health with simplicity and efficiency. All right, so you can see here just some of the features they have. Comprehensive control for your digital ecosystem, simplify project data management, ensure robust monitoring, secure backups with all the without all the fuss over minute details. Uh, projects, applications and databases, Docker Compose, multi-node, monitoring, backups, advanced management tools, open source templates, one click to deploy open source templates, real-time traffic con configuration, modified traffic settings on the fly via a graphical interface or API, user permission management, terminal access, and some FAQs about Docploy. And I'm going to be using, you know, both of these over the next little bit. And I'll keep you guys updated as to what ones I prefer for my the best for sale alternative. But um, let's go ahead and install Docploy. All right, because just from looking at it with the features, if you're familiar with Coolify, it does have a lot of similarities, but there are some actual key different differentiators and things that some have one of them's uh you know one may have that the other doesn't right so let's go ahead and it's very very easy to install both of these um same thing for docploy very very easy and here's the github too i'll link all of these the website github the docs all in the description and it's super super simple to install you don't need to be tech savvy or anything like that you just ssh into your vps so should not know how to do that i'm not going to cover that but you just Get a, a VPS, whether you're getting it from Hetzner, DigitalOcean, AWS, uh, mine's from Catabo. And then when you're in your VPS, we're just going to run this command right here curl SSL, HTTPS docploy.com forward slash install dot sh and run. All right, so it's going to execute the Docker git, um, the Docker install script. It's going to start running and pulling in just a second. Once it actually fully pulls and downloads all come right back all right so it pulled the files and now you can see it congrats doc ploy is installed wait 15 seconds and then go to your server ip with the port 3000 so now once we go here it is on our setup server so i'm just going to go ahead and create a user and then we're going to dive into doc ploy okay so now we're logged into doc ploy you can see this is what the user interface looks like. So it's a nice user interface. Um, and there are a lot of similarities with this interface as well as um, Coolify. Coolify also uses traffic. You can also configure it with um, uh, Caddy as well. So for all of that stuff. Um, but let's just go over what we have here. So right now we're in the dashboard. We have projects. Okay, so oops. Within projects, we have monitoring traffic file system, Docker settings. Okay, so and monitoring, this is a really nice feature because we can re uh, watch the usage of our server in the current 
uh, app. So we can see CPU being used right here. We can see memory being used, right? All this stuff right here. You can see backup IO space, right? 400 gigabytes, uh, 30, 30, 16 gigabytes of RAM. We go to traffic file system. You don't have to do anything here if you don't know what you're doing, but you could um, change some of this if you want. All right. And then Docker um, settings. So within settings, you can actually go add your server domain right here. So I'm not going to do that for the sake of time, but you could easily just do that. You could put your let's encrypt for the sake of time. I'm not going to do that, but you could do that. You could put your let's encrypt email here um, and then apply for the certificate through the doc play instance. You can also configure your GitHub. So set up your GitHub account to access your repositories, integrate your GitHub account with your services. You'll need to install a GitHub app. This process is straightforward and only takes a few minutes, etc. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but you can obviously do that. Here is your account information. You can generate a token to access API, CLI, appearance. So of course we're going with dark theme, but my system's already there. You can do S3 destination. So app providers like AWS, Cloudflare, R2, DigitalOcean spaces to create backups, certificates. So add custom certificates so this is really cool as well um that this that they have this feature um some of these features aren't within coolify uh cluster so our uh, uh, registry add registry to your application enable self-hosted registry create registry uh, add nodes to your cluster and then so the, oh, that covers pretty much th those the main settings now you may be asking, okay, well, how do I create a project? Well, you go to projects and you click on create project. So let's just give this a test. Um, do we need the description? No, we don't. Okay. So once you're in here, you'll be able to create a service. Now, when you're in create a service, there's a few different options. We have application database. So applications, front end database, back end, compose templates. So let's just take a look at some of these. Let's go templates here. And if you're familiar with Coolify, they have templates as well. Let's just see. We have pocket base plausible. Um, so we got WordPress, Udo, AppSmith, NAN, one of our favorites, no code DB, um, mini, uh, Minio, uh, PHP, my admin. Okay. So decent amount, um, maybe about the same, uh, maybe about the same amount as uh as coolify give or take okay let's just go ahead and deploy n8n all right so n8n template created successfully all right here it is so we can see within our n8n project or um resource we have a few different options a few different settings we have the docker compose right here um auto deploy or deploy rebuild stop open in terminal domains all right so environment variables this is where you would add the environment variables to your resource you would just click on hide and do so um monitoring this is actually a bit different than the monitoring in your dashboard this is monitoring of course for your specific resource your app so for us it would be our any an instance logs this will be the logs for the specific containers that we're running once you actually spin these up you'll be able to see the in uh, the logs, whether it's one container, two containers, etc. Deployment. So this is where you would obviously see your deployments and then the advanced uh, settings. So you can run commands within this section. You can add volumes in this section. Okay. And then <clears throat> you can modify the, um, the name right here, update the composed data. You could delete it. And that's pretty much it. When we're ready to actually get things going, I'll just click on deploy and it will start deploying the compose all right so as you can see here when you're actually setting this up though of course it's a template but you have a few different options you can do github git or raw for the different um provider options all right so now things are deployed all we'll simply do is you just click on this domain it's here and this is where your domains are um that you would have uh, connected to this instance and then we can just go open that here and what do we have we have 
are an, an instance. So we could go ahead and set up our account. I'm not going to do so. This is just a test. I'm going to delete this after, but there you have it. You can go ahead, create multiple different services. You could create a database over here. So in database, we have Postgres, SQL, MongoDB, Maria M or Maria DB, MySQL, Redis. So you could just put some details in here. It's pretty, it's pretty much the same. Uh, there's a couple other options within database um, that you'll see, but um, compose, you could go ahead, do compose type, either stack or Docker compose, and you could create test all right so you can create the different options here now we have a file right here all right if you connected your github that like in the settings this is where you would see this option right gets right here and then raw is right here and then if we go back here create services um application this is where you would create your application if you weren't using a template, of course. And yeah, there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. So um, like I said, this is not the only Vercel alternative. This is, um, you know, if there's a few different ones, Coolify, CapRover, Docploy. Um, you can try them all or try, you know, one or whatever one you think work, uh, seems like it would fit your use case the best. Coolify is definitely really good. If you haven't seen my Coolify video, check that one out. Um, it will help you maybe decide if you want to use Docpoy or Coolify. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated on what my favorite one is, as well as if I'm trying any, one, uh, any other ones out like CapRover, etc. So make sure you want to stay up to date with all that, as well as if you want to see the daily uploads. If you're new to this channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, self-hosting, uh, marketing, business, sales, etc. So stay up to date with all that. AI news. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Comment down below what your thoughts are. If you have any questions or if you have any issues, I'll try my best to help you. And other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Also, too, guys, if you're new to this channel, you haven't already joined our free stride community. We have about 750 to 800 members in our free Facebook group and Discord channel. Link for that will be in the description down below, stridecommunity.com. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.